G'day Magpie fans, welcome to this week's edition of the Black and White Show. Uh, this week at the footy club we had our new jam of footy start in Graham Wright. Um, I'm sure all of you have uh, read Bucks' book, All I Can Be. There's a little uh, story in there about when Bucks was still at Brisbane. Uh, Wrighty was playing at Collingwood and um, yeah, let him know that he wasn't really wanted and probably a few other words that I probably can't say on camera but um, I'm sure as all good bookstores will have the book if you haven't read it already go in and uh, grab it have a little bit of a read but this week's topic it's going to be a little bit about sledging who's you know good on the on the tongue um, what good sledges they've heard over their time so we'll go around to the boys now and see what they've got what sledges have you heard on over your time and who's pretty good on the tongue I know you are so be honest and tell us a few of your best liners I was playing on uh, Steve Johnson one day um, against GWS and we are playing over there and I was playing on him and he was saying that uh, he reckons he's had more hot dinners than I've had <laughs> so... <laughs> we will be using this, the beep out in this today. Uh, yeah, that was pretty funny and I actually couldn't stop laughing. I said, you'd want to hope so, mate, you're 55 and still playing footy. <laughs> Alright, we've got the, uh, the man himself, Chris Main, Mainy. Um, we've been going around asking the boys um, about some of the good sledges they've heard, um, some of the people that have delivered them. Have you got any you can share with the Magpie fans? Yeah, I've had a few over my journey. The simple ones of yes, you're not good enough, or the stare. I remember tagging Goodsy and he actually just looked at me and stared and laughed, and that was a really good feeling that day. I've had Goddard call me a crab, a spud. You wish you could tag me, which was fun. That wasn't a good day either. Uh, I've had Pav give some of the best to blokes that wanted to sit back in the hole. Thanks, Mickey. He would always call them Sorry. by their name and then say, I'm just going to stick my knee in the back of your head. The first one that comes to mind is um, Alex Fasolo. <laughs> when he's, um, there's just no one, there was no one quite like him when he was up and about kicking three or four against Carlton in front of 60 or 70,000 and he's just marching around to all the defenders asking who's playing on him. <laughs> he wants to play on me. He wants to, and he's obviously talking about himself in the third person. So he's, who wants Fazzy? Who wants to take Fazzy? Who wants him? The Prince of her. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I think the art of the sledge has been lost in modern day footy a little bit. It's too hard. You got to run around too much these days. What about um, Hayden Ballantyne? He's someone looking from afar that would love a little chirp, I reckon. Ballers is all about history and knowledge. So he'll want to know everything about you before going into the game so he can deliver it really well. He was really good at the old uh, niggling. So he would find a way to either chin you, punch you on the on the back of the elbow, pinch you somewhere that the umpires couldn't see it, and then verbally get into you about, I'm gonna kick six on you, or you're not good enough. So the ones about footy are always the good ones. Uh, I've just got one in mind from when I, back in my Brisbane days, and I played with John O'Brien. I think some young fellow, small bloke, went to try and take a mark in front of him, and just took it, and he just death stared him and said, I've been doing this a lot longer than you, mate. And just give those real staring eyes. And I was just like, oh, damn. <laughs> That's a pretty bad sledge. <laughs> you mean man, Brownie. <laughs> We're talking about sledging. Yep. Who's, who was good on the tongue at the Cats? Uh, the Cats' best by far was Matthew Scarlett. Yep. So um, obviously Hall of Fame defender. Yep. But he used to never sledge his own opponent. It was always someone, someone else's else. opponent, <laughs> which used to stir him up. Yeah, so. Can you repeat any on no. Probably not. No, nothing. That's fair <laughs> yeah. Mainly featured on the show about being a grumpy old man last week, but as you can see today, he's far from that. The bloke behind the camera right now is probably the one yeah, you want to be worried about. Uh, Swanee was a really good sledge, right? Yeah. Just, just to ask blokes what their name was that were tagging him and tell them their career would be done in two years. Yeah. Um, Darcy Moore's a good sledger. I've heard him ask blokes who they are, but he legitimately doesn't know who they are. Doesn't really follow football too much. Um, remember a game we had some fun for a while? We were playing Essendon and you kicked a snap goal. And there's a blonde-headed bloke from Essendon who'd been getting into you. And you just turned around and gave him a bit of what for. <laughs> you this one to the crowd. And, Bashed your chest. <laughs> oh, I gotta get going. Alright, oh, no, thanks for that, that dip. Nice. Right, Good on you. Day, <laughs> That's it for the Black and White Show this week, Magpie fans. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it and hope to see you back here again soon. Go the Pies.